I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book writer. There's so many books. <laughs> Hello everyone, Stephanie here. Today's video is going to be a no spoiler review on Legacy of Kings by Eleanor Herman. I received this book for free in exchange for an honest review. Thank you, Paper Lantern Lynch, for sending it my way. I said yes to this book first and foremost because they kind of compared to Tanner Darkin. And I understand why they did. It is a historical retelling of Alexander the Great with magic. I didn't know it was a retelling of Alexander the Great at first. Can I just throw that out there? I didn't know it because you guys know me. I've said this in the past. I read enough of a book to just kind of figure it out. And when I had read about this book way when it first came out, actually, because I don't remember who did a video on it. I was like, oh, my God, that sounds amazing. They pretty much just touched up on what's in the back of the book. But this story just follows Alexander, and it follows Sophia, who's from the Persian Empire, and it follows Katerina, Hephaestion, can't pronounce some of these people's names, Jacob, who, you know, Katerina and Jacob are from a smaller town, they're just like local people, and it's a lot of layers to the story. Can I say that? Like, there is a lot of layers to the story. There is people who hunt down people who do magic and they, like, ban magic and there's a kingdom that doesn't want to necessarily work with these people and the names. Not that I forgot them. I can't pronounce most of them, so I won't even try. But I adored this book. I gave it a five out of five stars. This was literally my type of book wrapped up. It had some brutality, not a lot, but it had just enough. It had horrible characters. It had really awesome characters. I love that the romance was so irrelevant throughout this whole story. Yes, there is some romance in here, but the characters are so amazing. I was shipping everyone together. I was like, oh, I wouldn't mind these two together. I wouldn't mind those. Oh my God, I just want everyone together. That never happens to me. But the story is so full circle you're seeing from all these people's perspectives it doesn't waste its time going through certain things so occasionally there's a little time jump and by time jump i mean like a week has passed and i enjoyed that because things can get repetitive things can get boring and eleanor really did move the story along but keeping that in mind it's a slow slow read there is a lot of world building there is a lot of things that you need to understand that don't even start being revealed to you until halfway through the book and for me i enjoyed it i can understand where for some people it would seem like it's dragging and i don't feel like it dragged at all it was perfectly paced it was a slow read that read very quickly mind you it took me a while to read it because i did not want this to end i read like 20 pages here a chapter here a chapter there and then I went weak in the knees and then I kind of finished the last like 200 pages in a night because I was like no but now it's done I need the second book to this so badly especially because everything that's set up and everything that happened it's so good but the adventures that take place in here the magic system is really unique and you don't know a whole lot about it right now in the first book I loved Eleanor's writing. There were times I got emotional. There were times where I was just like, what the hell is going on? You're messing with my emotions. You're messing with my heart. But it was amazing. I really did love this. I love how it was written. I really, 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 really love the characters and the process the characters go through and just all of the things. I love that it's not in one person's perspective, although this is written in third person. I know a lot of people don't like that. I usually don't prefer it. I really enjoyed it for this book and I love that you're just seeing all of these things all of the things that are happening and how they tie in together and you're just like there's a lot going on and there's still a lot we don't know but that is my no spoiler review I'm sorry I've been enjoying doing no spoiler reviews because sometimes book talking it for me takes a lot out of me and it doesn't make sense but that's just how I am I don't because then I start over analyzing things and then I, I like don't enjoy the book as much as I should but anyway five out of five stars I seriously 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 love this I need to read the second book the third book comes out in the middle of next year but anyway I highly recommend it and I'll see you in my next video bye